Darren has said, you know, you're the only thing that's you need to work on is keeping your emotions tight, controlling your emotions, Cairo. I mean, he says that nonstop to me, I mean, and everyone knows it, you know, because if I lose the ball, I will chase it wherever, and I could chase a ball, and where I'm supposed to be is not where I chase the ball to, and they find where I'm supposed to be. I went to Brazil when I was a teenager, and fresh off the flight, I went, flew in in the morning, fresh off the flight, took a nap, and went to training at like, you know, six at night. I get out and these guys are just like, boom, boom, one touch, all these cheeky moves, doing this stuff, and I'm just standing here like, you know, I don't belong here. And then I was like, you know, maybe it's just a flight and you know, I gotta get time. And that first week went by and I just like gave the ball away. I was so nervous. I just, I could not play, I could not find a rhythm. And I called my dad and I was like, I need to come home. Like, I can't do this. And I just, I don't wanna play, you know, cause that was my real first taste of like what a professional environment was like. And you know, my dad kind of just gave me the hard business. He said, do you love soccer? Is this what you want to do? You know, he says, call me in a week, and if you're not, you know, don't call me back. You know, he said, call me in a week. If you're not, you know, anywhere in the squad and you still want to come home, then fine, but don't give up. And, you know, I stayed and I got on the roster that week and, and I was playing. But imagine you picked some stuff up. Though. Yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I came back untouchable. I came back to the States playing soccer on a different level. I want, every time I get the ball, I want someone to be like, you know, what's he gonna do? You know, like, it's something exciting every time I touch the ball. You know, and that's, and I, there's a lot of players, Ty, big time, Mike, big time. You know, when they get on the ball, it's like, we're always trying to beat this player. I wanna look across and be like, I'm gonna beat you. You know, I'm gonna run past you. I'm gonna put it through your legs. You know, and then you got these walls. The walls are another player. A guy can get smashed into the boards, you know, it's, it's a lot, it's a fast pace, very rough, very technical, you know, it's like fast chess and speed chess. I love my dad I, just as much as I love my mom because she's also a big part of it, you know, but I mean, my dad is, he's hard, he's mean, he's, he's everything, he's loving, he's caring, he's wise, he's smart, he's the smartest man I know. And I'm glad that, you know, he's kind of molded me into the man that I am and gave me such an, a great example of how I'm supposed to be a father, how I'm supposed to be a man, how I'm supposed to provide and take care of my family. And, you know, he's it just, in no words, can describe how much he means to me.